Welcome back to this old bitch. Um, if you're new here, uh, what I do is I go and buy the cheap tools that may or may not work for you. Um, and give you an honest to goodness appraisal of if they're worth their salt or not. And uh, sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. Uh, I will say I've, I've been pretty lucky getting some of that inexpensive stuff and having pretty good luck with it. This one may be a different story. Maybe it won't. I don't know. You decide. Uh, and if you are returning, I promise one of these days we'll get back to the old toolbox. Um, it's just I'm not at home. And when I am at home, I'm busy. So let's uh, let's go ahead and break these down. So what we're going to talk about today are actually uh, water pump or cobra head pliers. Now, all right, hang on, I'm going to try and do this. This is like the eighth time I've tried to film this. Uh, so what we have here are the Nipix, Nipix cobra heads. Now, these are actually... Um, you can't tell now because I've had them for about 10 years. These are actually the Mac branded ones. They say, they used to say uh, Mac tools on the handle and then in big letters it said Nipix because you know, when you're talking about the big three, Nipix makes all the pliers because they're, they're the best you can get. Um, and uh, these are obviously uh, made of vandilium van vandinium and they're also made in germany made in germany um now i have been using these for a very long time they are amazing pliers i i've had this this pair actually it's a set but i only brought the one up here uh because they're all the same except for the sizes so you can buy this in a set of 8, 10, and 12 inch. This is the 10. It's the medium one. Um, they're good pliers. They're amazing pliers. In fact, if you, you I, I haven't been able to do it with this set, but if you put it on, um, oh, if you're trying to grab like a pipe or something and you put a lot of pressure on it, it'll actually lock. I have used other people's pairs of these in the past, and they actually do lock. It's just for whatever reason, these ones, I, I can't get them to do it. And that might be a fault in this, but regardless, they are still incredibly handy. The other thing about these that's super cool is the more pressure you put on this upper handle, the better the clamping force, which I guess is kind of the way all pliers, even channel locks, are supposed to work. But these, yeah. Yeah, there's a reason that these are the standard when it comes to overhead pliers because they're pretty damn well unbeatable. But what I have today is a contender, which is the Tech equivalent. Now, if you've watched any of my other, it, I will say, so this actually comes on a set. It's like 35 bucks. You get the the eight inch, the 10 inch, the 12 inch. Comes in a nice roll. I'm not a big fan of rolls, but this is, uh, it, it works. Um, and they all, yeah. Ooh, look. Oh, it's a roll. It came out of the roll. Oh, it was a tiny little pair of pliers. I grab pipes and stuff with that. But for today, we're going to, we're going to compare the 10 inch to the 10 inch and I'm going to say the quality for the 8 and the 12 is the same across the board. So, let's get the roll out of the way, and we'll grab the two contenders. Yeah, see? 10 inch, 10 inch. Um, now, looking over these, let's see some very... Uh, abrupt differences one being the head size of the nipix versus the duratec uh the other would be sorry i'm getting in the way of my light here causing shadows uh the opening here versus the opening here i will say it is kind of nice having the bigger opening but you're also 
like it in the bigger head in general. Um, now, if you're not familiar with Duratec, it is a company. Um, I can't remember the parent company. It's like Zhejiang Wu Tooling Company or whatever. Uh, these are out of China. And uh, I have a few things from them. And I have been relatively impressed. And I figured, you know, let's try these out and see what we get. Um, now, the other thing that you'll notice here is, uh, and this is, I do have some Irwin Groove Locks, and they stay at home. Obviously, I'm not at home, um, but they're probably, I would say, the second, and they kind of mirror, like, the design of the Duratex definitely, um mirror that one a little bit more except for the one thing about the Irwin groove locks is on the back side here both of the 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 groove lock is actually on this face here and this face here it's not actually in the channel like uh with the Nipix uh where both of them are inside the channel or the Duratec which is just in the one side um Also, the uh, the opening here is way shorter. I mean, if I, if I had the the groove lock one, it would probably come to about right here where the the dip comes down, and then it would be cut off right there. So you're losing with the Irwins, you're probably losing a good half inch of plier face. Um, I did want to do this in a longer form. Uh, but I have the time now, and I have these two, so I figured, yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and take a take a look. Uh, there we go. That's way better. Okay. So if we break these down again, like I said, this has gear teeth on both sides of the channel. Um, the Duratec only has one, and then if we turn them over in the selector you can see that we've got this nice piece of spring steel right here on the nipix and when you push on it it's there and then when you let go it pushes back right pretty nice setup very rudimentary but it works so sorry there's some stuff over there don't worry about it don't worry about that there we go there one time um the other thing about these, if you went to push on them, they lock. Like they're they're not moving. Which can go either way. You might want something that's got a little bit of slop in it so you can make sure that you're grabbing the biggest bite possible. Um, or the best bite possible. And with these, you're gonna have to try if you don't quite know exactly what one you're going to also keep in mind how close these teeth are together like that's a lot of small variations of what you can grab and obviously um yeah you might not get it right the first time you might but you might not um and then you got these guys um very similar design yeah you got the split here just like the Nipix. If you didn't have the split there, then it, it, it wouldn't work. Um, also, let's check out the opening here. Um, that's a pretty good opening. I mean, that's uh, probably a good inch and, inch and a half, two inches, right? So you can, you can grab onto some pretty beefy stuff with this. Now then, we come to these. Um, now I will say I don't know how they have a they have a trigger lock, which is basically instead of the button, it's a little tab that you you push over, and that's supposed to unlock the whole thing, and it's supposed to move. Now these there we go. It's a very rough open. Now. 
just I, I, I inadvertently demonstrated what I yeah uh, so let's go uh, about the same opening about the same opening now this does oh wait no I think there's still a little bit I can I can open these hang on I know it's black screen it's a black screen oh my gosh what are we gonna do Ah, so the dirt texts do open just a little bit wider, but I can sense that you probably saw how much I struggled with opening that up. Um, that's not a very smooth mechanism whatsoever, and the one thing that drives me crazy about it is all I have to do is that. It's so much easier to close than it is to actually open. And then if it's open all the way and you're like, oh, okay, I, I got this. And you go to close it. Well, it made a liar out of me. Most of the time you'll get it open and you'll, you'll push, yeah, and it clicks up. It'll click up a little bit. But all it takes is you to do that, and you're back to the fully closed position, and then you gotta fight the selector again to get it where you want. Yeah, like that. Which, if you're trying to quickly adjust how closed something is, that is one way to do it, but then the problem you'll run into is you open it, and you'll go to close it again, and it will click up on you. And then you'll have to reset everything and do it again. Yeah, you see how I did, which, you know, I'll give it to it. I mean, that's a pretty smooth mechanism, but yeah, look at that. I just, uh, just closing it, closes it just ever so slightly. And then all it, depending on what you want, but the fact that you, it takes so much to do it, that's the thing that gets me. At least with these, when you know you're in the spot you want, it's locked and it's always going to be there. So no matter how many times I open and close the Nipix, it's always going to be the same size. I can't, I can't take this and I can't put my thumb here. It doesn't move. It doesn't do anything. I'm just going to move this out of the way. And these, ah. Uh, so there's that. And again, I wanted to compare this with some other stuff. Now, I was kind of, I was shopping around looking at some things, and uh, I found that the DeWalt that they came out with for a water pump plier is almost identical. Now, whether or not it's the uh, coming out of the same plant or it's the same. Uh, design or whatever it is very very similar to this it does not have the spring steel back that the Nipix does it's got the little the little button button tab thing that sucks and I had the same problem when I was playing around with them in the blister pack I did not buy them they were around the same price they were probably a little bit more than this just because it's a DeWalt on it um, and then I also did notice that Tough Built uh, the uh, same company that did the uh, tool tote that I purchased that I am still really, really enjoying. Um, they had a very similar design uh, with the... Uh, the handles weren't as thick, though, but you could tell the rest of the plier was the same uh, or very, very similar. Um, so... <laughs> You know, if it were me and I was looking into some new, some water pump pliers and I didn't want to spend the arm and the leg of the $200 that it costs to get, to get the Nipix. Sorry, I had my other hand full. Um, I would probably go with the Irwin Blue Vlots. Well, they aren't as nice as the Nipix. And I really wish I had one here, but like I said, they're all at my house where my home tools are. 
uh, and I've been packing these with me just to kind of give them a try out. Um, the one thing that really bugs me about these is the selector knob and, and the fact that sometimes you really have to fight that thing to open it. Um, and then once you do have it open, as soon as you just put the... I'm not even... Yeah. Yeah, the Irwins don't do that. Which is surprising, because I thought they'd be a little sloppier. Um, and these ones, you know, if they just had another Paul on the other side, over here, and did a little bit of work to the selector, um, I mean, we're talking like pennies on the dollar for parts on these, and a little bit of a redesign. The gear, The gear teeth on this side would probably make a lot better uh, pair of pliers. And as it sits right now, as much as I do and have liked Duratec tools, these ones are a pass for me. Um, they're not great. They uh, they do feel nice though. I'll give them that. They, they, they get an A plus in feel. Uh, you know, you got your little nipple tips. Uh, you know, from when they dipped them, and they're a little more aggressive than uh, than the uh, the old Nipix. There, uh, you can see these these have them too. That's just a that's just a thing from the dipping. Also, the fact that these have I've had these uh, for about ten years, and they are incredibly comfortable, regardless of the fact that these have the, the thicker handles. They do feel really these. I, I will say these these feel way better in the hand. Uh, just because of the extra padding and stuff, you can see it's a dual layer. They got the, they got the plastic bit, and then they dipped those. Uh, they're form fitted. Uh, handles super nice. I wish the pliers were better. And uh, yeah, I'll leave you on that for now. Uh, if you guys want to see me uh, look at anything else. Um, I got some things in the works, some ideas. Um, get my palm out of there. Brr. So, again, I wouldn't uh, leave, leave it in the comments, but uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend these. Uh, they're way better places to spend your thirty-five dollars than to buy three of these uh, really, really crappy. Ah, water pump pliers. Um, yeah, just just that, just that alone. The button sucks. It hardly works half the time, and then you just do this, and it closes. Like I, the first time I went to use these, I had them open, and I was like, "All right, here we go." And I closed them, and then they shut on themselves. It's like, well, this isn't gonna do what I want it to do. And obviously, the the more you use them, the worse they're going to get because you're you're putting all that stress and everything on those teeth and the selector, which is just this really, really. Let's see, can we get a good shot in there? It's a really crappy spring, and then the selector binds up. Like yeah, I really have to push on that, which. Here, can I get, uh, let's take a look at these big ones. Let's take a look at these big ones. I do like how big they open, though. I mean, like, that that opening in and of itself is pretty, that's a pretty sizable opening. Uh, oh, yeah, that's just, that sounds chunky. And then the, going up is nothing. But trying to get it to go down. Now well, these ones aren't these ones aren't as bad. Let's take a look at the eights. Oh, there we go. You know how hard I'm pushing on this right now, and it's it's 
it's it's pretty bad so there you go that's the see now that's the other thing too like that the eight inch is closer to the head of the 12 inch on the on the nipic side or the the 10 inch sorry but, but also you got to, there we go that's the trick that's the trick and maybe there we go when it's worn down it might be better but at the same time these aren't my go-to's <laughs> I used them once and I was like, yeah, no, we'll stick with the Nipix. And so they stay in the wrench roll and maybe I should just retire them to the toolbox and maybe I should grab the Irwins and bring them with me because I do like the Irwins more than I like these. So I, uh, yeah, you can try them out if you want. I wouldn't recommend them. Uh, and that's, that's just me. Maybe there's some people out there who are happy with these. Uh, and maybe I just got a bum set, but, uh, Anyway, let me know one way or the other, and uh, we'll go from there. Hope you all have a great day. Thanks. Bye.